Yep, I think I'm gonna uh, get up out of here all this damn rain. And it's starting to get a little chill out here too. Yes, sir. I got a girl. Bro, I'm taking that. I see. A badass mother. Y'all see that? Man, this shit for the bird. I'm trying to get a pull up out of here. I'm about to talk about this man right now in this radio. Come on, about. Hey, pop out. So this is Eric Long Show me checking in with y'all. Hope everybody having a good morning. Uh, why, why do people ride around with their mask on and stuff, man? I understand you have somebody in the car with you, and um, they might be sick, but uh, you know, might have a Rona or, or whatever. But if you're in a car riding by yourself, why are you doing it? It don't make any sense. You look like a fool. I look crazy with this on. I don't, don't. I'm gonna um, talk with it and, and, and see how this work out. See if I can I can breathe in it. Man. This mask is pretty cool. This is the um, my wife did this E and K bougie snacks. Y'all follow that on Instagram. But um, yeah, that video y'all just seen. When you working out here in this um, you know, long shortman weather, when you working outside, when you a long shortman, rain, sleet, or snow, you have to have you a good rain suit. Y'all heard me? I just told that dude. All this money you making, buy you a goddamn rain suit. A real deal rain suit. Don't get that cheap shit. You might want to get, let's see, they're doing it in the car. Uh, right next to me, looking at me like, what, what, why do you have this damn mask on? <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, the uh, co worker I had asked him, like, all the money you making, buy you, buy you a good rain suit. So, um, he, he, uh, he made good money. I heard what he, said, what he said, how much money he made. So, uh, <laughs> the rain suit he has is a cheap ass rain suit. He been down one time, that shit gonna buzz over from the crack of his ass. That shit gonna be busted over. Come to the company, I don't care about shit. They like, hey, we pay you good money. Buy you a, a two hundred dollar, or you know, go Amazon get you one for a hundred or fifty, sixty dollars, whatever. Or shoot, they got rain suit two, three hundred dollars. Some of them guys do it. They wear. You know, they'd be insulated and all that, but you get that cheap ass rain suit, man, it's gonna bust open on you. Or then you can be looking crazy out here. Then you gotta get another one. Then another one. Just go to the store and buy you a good rain suit. Go on Amazon. I put a link in on in the, in the uh, description and uh, tell y'all what kind of rain suit you should be buying. Then another thing about working this damn rain, this is the crazy part right here. Um, y'all seen that in the clip too. Shit, I told him, get you one. I'm out of here. You don't want to be wet and cold, especially if it's cold and raining. Woo! If you're not in the truck and you out there on the ground, you're on the boat, whatever, and you get wet, best thing to do is have some clothes with you. Yeah, get you some, your rain boots too. Have, have some clothes with you. Bring some clothes with you. Keep in the trunk of your car. You never know what's going to happen. It might be cold, raining. I need some socks and all that. And, you know, get you a, a, a little bin, a little laundry bin or something like that. And, uh, you know, get some kind of bin where you have your clothes in there. But me, I was fed up. I think I might have worked out already. I had like eight hours on the books already. And then we was going to take a lunch break. And uh, so I was like, uh uh. I got a boy. I got a radio. I got a radio. I said, hey, bye bye. Get you one, boss. I'm out of here. Cause I had got wet. I had the waterproof boots on, but the way my pants was, it got the rain got down the back of my leg and and got in my feet. My socks was wet. That's a bad feel. I do not like working them or walking around with wet socks. That's like the worst feeling, ain't it? Shit, man, your socks get wet, man. You'll take them things off so quick. That's like it's uncomfortable. And I don't be wet and cold. And that's like that's how you get sick. That, that I'm telling you, that's how you get sick. You don't want those problems. So the best thing to do is go home, change clothes on your lunch break, or do like I did. Tell your boss, man, I don't know how I got on the porch doing, but I know down here, if you want to like go home and stuff, and uh, if you want to go home, 
let the boss man know ahead of time. And sometimes this is the messed up part about it right here. I got on the radio and I said numerous times, hey, Papa, get you one. I'm out of here at 12 o'clock. I'm gone. No reply. No reply. I'm like, what is they doing? I know you heard me say something. I said about four or five times until the man's on the ground. I said, hey, I'm off. I'm doing an undertaker. I'm off. I'm out of here. They just look at me and say, they just nodding the head. So um, when it get time to go, when we when I get off, when they go on lunch break, <laughs> I tell the boss, I say, hey, you know I'm off at 12, right? Huh? What? What, 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 what you mean? I said, man, I told you three or four times on the radio. You didn't hear me? Uh, no, but shit, that's on you. You got to find you a man. Now, when it comes to that, the foreman supposed to let the hiring delegates know ahead of time or at lunchtime, whatever. Hey, I got a man knocking out such and such. I need me a driver or I need me a hatch tail. I need such and such. The, um, the hiring delegates supposed to uh, get the man to replace you. And this, they, they try to play me too, man. I swear they try to play me. So I'm off. I'm like half. I'm already. I'm um, probably like 10 minutes from the house. It's taking about 25, 30 minutes to get home. So I'm like 10 minutes from the house. They still, you know, this motherfucker didn't call me. Hey, hey, hey man, we uh, we gonna need you to come back. We 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 don't have nobody replace. I'm like, what? I said, man, that's on y'all, really. That's on y'all. I told you that I was getting on. We already they didn't make it to the um to the casuals for a job or the other seniority man for a job. So I know there's people out there that want to work. So that's really on y'all to do y'all job. But the foreman, when I told him, I told him like around 10, 30, 10, 45, get you one. If you would have told that hiring delegate, hey, I need you one, tell him to come at one o'clock. But he didn't do it. So that's on the foreman and the hiring delegates, not on me. And uh I'm like, man, I'm already home, man. What y'all want me to do? Well, we, we gonna need you to come back. Well, if you know somebody want to work, tell them come on down. I'm like, all right, let me call somebody. Let me see. Let me do my hiring delegate. Because the hiring delegate, they get paid for that shit. They get like extra thousand dollars. They get thousand dollars a month, something like that. So I got to do a hiring delegate job. I call like two people. I call my cousin that I had put on. Like I said, I made a video about him. I don't think he, gonna, he ain't gonna make it, man, for real. I call him. Call about four or five times. He finally asked, oh man, what's going on, cuz? Hey man, you gonna come to work for a couple of hours, man? We don't have nothing to do. You got a gravy job, man. You never be on the boat. You been on the boat one time, so you, you know, get you some experience. Oh man, shoot, man. I gotta take these kids to school. Bro, you gonna be off in the, you gonna work about two, three hours. That's it, you'll be, you'll get off in time to go take the kids to school. Yeah, no, they gonna marry you, man. You're like, motherfucker. This the this, this shit like this, I be trying to tell people. When somebody call you, come do a job, they call you, get your ass up out of the bed, cause it's gonna benefit you. Cause they gonna see, oh, yeah, oh, he's he's reliable. We can call him. But he didn't he didn't it didn't it didn't go through his head. So I got the phone his head. Okay, let me call him my homeboy. And he knew he he, he went a couple times down here. Let me call him. Hey bro, you gonna come to work, man? Man, it rain like hell, yeah, man. I'm like, bro. The rain is it's old with. It's not raining down here no more. Anymore. So all you gotta do come to work, watch these containers land. You don't have to do no work. I I've done all the work. Everything's laid out sweet for you. Man, I'm, I'm drunk, man. What? You drunk on a Wednesday? I think it was a Wednesday or Thursday? And you drunk? Man, I had me a cup of beer, man. I said, man. And a pen on your head. Man, I ain't, ain't gonna make it, man. I said, man, this battle up there. I, 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 I'm saying to myself, man, they gotta get this in blood because <laughs> I'm not coming back. Oh, wait, well, I'm 10 minutes from the house. Y'all, we turn around and come back? Shit, man. So, anyway, I'm about to call them, I'm about to call them back and let them know that I ain't coming. So, they gonna call me back. Hey, man, hey, here, yo, you don't have to worry about it. We found somebody for you. All right, bet. Shit, y'all better have found somebody for me because. If I want to came back, they want to they want to try to punish your ass, suspend you for seven days for some shit they supposed to be doing. And I think I'm gonna make a video about this on my next video. I'm gonna make a video about it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, let me take this goddamn mask off, man. I can talk, but like I'm about to die in this thing. I can hardly breathe. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good, man. Anyway, man, I'm here to long short, man. Y'all don't get forget to. Uh, 
you know, check out my content and stuff, man. Show some love. And y'all have a blessed day. I'm out. Peace.